Let's take a look at fourth grade, module three, lesson three. Multi-digit multiplication and division. Topic A, multiplicative comparison word problems. Our first problem. The projection screen in the school auditorium is five times as long and five times as wide as the screen in the library. The screen in the library is four feet long with a perimeter of 14 feet. What is the perimeter of the screen in the auditorium? Now to figure out what they're really asking us, what is the perimeter of the screen in the auditorium, we're going to have to use the information from the screen in the library. So let's look at the library screen first. The screen in the library is 4 feet long with a perimeter of 14 feet. So that's our information. We have a rectangle that's going to represent our library screen. What we know is that it's 4 feet long. And we also know that its perimeter is 14 feet. So let's think about what perimeter means. Perimeter would be like if we could take all of the sides, so like this is one of the sides, and I'm going to move it up here. This is another side, and we're going to lay the sides end to end. So we can think about the perimeter, which is like all the way around the sides of our rectangle. So this side, I'm going to have to turn so we can think about what perimeter is really telling us, what, really, what perimeter really means. And then I did this one, this one, and this side. Now I need to do this side. So I'm going to take this side and I'm going to turn it. Now, when I put all of the sides of this rectangle end to end like this, what we know is that this is the length of the perimeter, and that length is 14 feet. So from this end to this end, it measures 14 feet. But what do I know about each piece, each side? I know that this one is 4 feet. Now, if this one is 4 feet, then this one up here has to be 4 feet as well. So, I'm going to start with my 14 feet, and I'm going to take away this 4 feet. So when I do, that leaves 10, because 14 minus 4 is 10. I know this one is 4 feet as well, so I'm going to take that one away. Ten minus four would leave me with six. <clears throat> so this measurement right here is six feet. Now I need to basically break six in half. And some students might struggle with that. But if we show them like a representation and if I were to take this group of six and break it in half you can see that 6 divided by 2 is 3. So half of 6 is 3. So this portion right here must be 3 feet. And this must be 3 feet. So with that, and remember that we had turned it to the side, so now we can see that this side must be 3 feet. And this side right here, since it's the same as this one, it has to be 3 feet as well. So now we've figured out the sides, the width, and the length of the screen from the library. And I'm going to go ahead and label this one library, so I can remember which one I'm doing. So this is our library screen. This side is 3 feet this side is 4 feet, and together it has a perimeter of 14 feet. 
Now, let's go back to our word problem, see what it's asking us about. The projection screen in the school auditorium is five times as long and five times as wide as the screen in the library. We know what the screen in the library is now, so they want to know the perimeter of the auditorium screen. Okay, so the auditorium screen is going to be five times as long, so five times four, four feet, five times four feet, and the screen in the auditorium is going to be five times as wide as the library screen, so it's going to be five times three feet. Okay, so now I have an idea about the size that I want to draw my rectangle to represent my auditorium screen. I know that that screen is going to have to be 20 feet long and 15 feet wide. So now all I have to do is figure out what the perimeter of this screen would be. So last time we figured out perimeter, we used the sides and we laid them end to end and we matched up the perimeter. But this time we're going to use the formula for perimeter. The formula for perimeter is perimeter would be equal to 2 times L plus W. So let's look at what L plus W would be with our auditorium screen. So this is our auditorium screen. L plus W stands for length plus width. So our length is 20 feet and our width is 15 feet. So 20 plus 15. So basically the perimeter is going to be equal to 2 times 20 plus 15. Okay. So let's add 20 plus 15. We can do that easily in our heads. That would be 20, 35. 20 plus 10 is 30, plus 5 more is 35. So the perimeter would be equal to 2 times 35, which is equal to 70 feet. So if I had 35 two times. I could put the two thirties together and make 60 and then the two fives together and make 10 more that would be 70. So what is the perimeter of the screen in the auditorium? The perimeter all the way around the edges of the screen in the auditorium is 70 feet. Problem two. The width of David's tent is five feet. The length is twice the width. David's rectangular air mattress measures three feet by six feet. If David puts the air mattress in the tent, how many square feet of floor space will be available for the rest of his things? Now, to solve this problem, I'm going to use uh, a grid. I'm going to use grid paper to solve this problem. And then we'll look at it without grid paper when we're done. So first I need, to, David's going to have a tent. This is what I understood from the story. That David has this tent, and the tent is five feet wide. So I'm going to draw that right now. And I'm going, I'm going to start up here. And I'm just going to use these squares to represent one foot by one foot. So then I can draw one, two, three, four, five. So that is the width of my tent. Now the length is twice the width. So this is five. Twice means two times. So the length 
of the tent is going to be 2 times 5, which is 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now I have an idea of the size of this tent. And I'm going to draw the rest of it in. So this is the size of David's tent. Now, David doesn't want to sleep on the floor. He wants to put an air mattress in his tent. The air mattress measures 3 feet by 6 feet. So I'm going to have to draw that air mattress in here. And I'm going to draw it here in the corner. I'm going to put it here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 feet by 3 feet. One, two, three. So this is where David is going to put his air mattress. Now to show that, I'm going to like move the air mattress in and I'm going to shade in where that is. If David puts the air mattress in the tent, how many square feet of floor space will be available for the rest of his things? So how much floor space is left over? And to figure that out, we can just count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So, how many square feet of floor space will be available for the rest of his things? 32 square feet of floor space. Now, some of your students are going to need some of you students out there are going to need grid paper to help solve this. Some of you can solve it without grid paper. So let's just take a look at what it would be like if we solved it without grid paper. So this is representing the same stuff we just did. This is our rectangle that represents the tent. And then here's the air mattress. But I know some information about this air mattress. I know that this air mattress is 6 feet by 3 feet. I can multiply 6 times 3 to get 18 square feet, and that is the size of our air mattress. Well, I can also figure out just the size of the tent. We know that this side of the tent is 5 feet, and this side of the tent is 10 feet. So 5 times 10 feet would be 50 square feet. So the whole green rectangle has 50 square feet in it. If I remove, or if I cover up, 18 square feet, then I'm subtracting 18 square feet from the whole green rectangle. So that would be 15 square feet minus 18 square feet, and that would give me 32 square feet. All right, that's going to wrap things up for lesson three. In this lesson, we um, were demonstrating our understanding of area and perimeter formulas by solving multi-step word problems. Remember, you can always get additional help if you go to lpssonline.com. Go to hover over the words Parent Command Center and scroll down to Math Resources. When you click Math Resources, you'll get to this page. And if you look over here on the side, we have the grade levels. You can click on grade 4, because that's what we're working on. And then you'll get this page, which is uh, right now we're working in Module 3. And we're doing Topic A. This is the last lesson for Topic A. And when you click Topic A, you'll get this and it, this page. And it really has a lot of information that can help you with homework and understanding the math we're doing in this topic.